Hello everybody, uh, I'm going to show off the wiring guide to get the automatic discharge coils for the Typhon 2. I have already previously set it up. Uh, I have it done in the editor just so I can save anything that I've done to the ship. And if I ever need to edit anything I can do that in my in the editor and then do it in my main game. So the general idea is, let me go to the editor, is uh, on the Typhon 2 the discharge coils at the top and the coil actually can reach all the way like over here and pretty far down like maybe about this far down over here typically I don't have it set to go all the way though uh, just because usually you don't need it and they have a gun there and it just I want like more of a focused area of where it is that you can always change the values on what you want uh, so currently I have the motion detector here and you can actually place it exactly here uh, in the main game maybe it'll be slightly to the left but this I'm pretty sure is the exact spot if you're not using the editor and the radius that I have it goes all the way where the square is so it's set up to once an enemy comes into it the discharge will go off and electrocute them and it does some slight damage it can uh, stun them and it can burn them uh, yeah, I was trying to think if it can burn the people in the water, but it can. Uh, this is probably the best radius that I would want. If you really wanted to, you might be able to nudge out further this way. Uh, but it's just all personal preference. So the way this works is currently the uh, switch is off. This is off by default. So if I come all the way over here. Oh my god. I forgot. I always forget how this ship layout is. So if I come to the top. This on. Suit on. So if I go to the top of the ship. And I come over here. Uh, I don't get shocked as you would expect. Go back to the editor, play it again. This time I'm going to turn it on. Oh, am I going to make the same mistake? Yep. Uh, all right, so this time I have the switch turned on. Now come all the way back. See, I would well, normally it's not on human, so it's not a big deal. Come over here, and now I start getting shocked. So, come over here. Uh, the actual settings you would want. Well, I'll, I'll come to the motion sensor last. So, with the way this works is, I have a switch here. I'm going to the and. The and component. So I have, I have the switch next to the console. You can have the switch anywhere, but typically I have the captain take care of it. Uh, the switch goes to signal one, the motion detector that you set up at the top of the ship or wherever the motion sensor or the uh, discharge cable may be, the coil, I put that on signal two. These are interchangeable. You can do either one on one or two, it doesn't matter. And signal out, it has to be the electrical discharge for the way that I'm doing it. Because the way it's set up is When the switch is off, which is the red light, uh, the coil will not go off uh, when enemies get near it. There may be certain uh, situations where you don't want it to go off. Either it's draining your batteries, if people can't shoot guns, or whatever issue may be coming up, you want it turned off. When you click it and it's green, the motion sensor is activated and it will start uh, sending the signal to the uh, discharge coil to start zapping people that come in the radius. And as previously shown, the radius that I have set is here. Uh, typically, it's not too big of a deal if it's going inside. Uh, I have it going inside because you want it coming over here to the end. If you don't want that, you can raise it up so it's only getting the top. Uh, but the coil reaches over here, so I want it. 
Uh, so the reason it went off when I was in here but didn't hurt me is because they couldn't get to me. Uh, it's because the target type right now is human, just so I can test it. Uh, in the actual game, depending on how you're wanting to play, you would have it as monster, then ignore dead. Uh, you want to ignore dead because there can be situations where bodies are on top of your ship that you, uh, enemies that you killed and they're sliding from the current and since they're moving it'll trip the motion sensor and then they'll start getting shocked which will use unnecessary uh, battery uh, or power to do that. So the settings that I have are range X 900, range Y 340, the offset for X is 300 and for Y it is 30. Uh, all the offset does is it moves the bar in whatever direction you want, not having the motion sensor as the center, which is what we want. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I've thought about putting a delay on it, so you can use the uh, delay component, but I just haven't got around to actually utilizing that and putting it. But if I put a delay on this, uh, the coil going off, I would probably put it anywhere between 2 to 10 seconds, just depending on uh, your power usage, what ship you're on, how much energy draw you're going from guns, and just whatever reasons you may have. How good of a captain you have, because them piloting the ship can put more uh, resource uh, use on the reactor that can cause blackouts and whatnot. Uh, but that's about it for the Typhon 2. See you guys.